We're always getting together for the Super Bowl, no matter what. This year, though, the what that matters for Yasmin Beg and her family is avoiding catching COVID-19. You try to, you know, establish some traditions, right? And Super Bowl Sunday is one of those that I'm sure everyone has some sort of tradition. Not this year. Yasmin wants to enjoy the Super Bowl, not be part of a gathering that's a super spreader. That's why her family is staying put at home this Sunday. My husband and I and my kids, that's it. So we will be home. I'll probably still make the nachos, try to keep something, you know. But normal's been hard to come by these past 11 months. Yasmin, who played softball in college, has passed her love of sports under her kids and helps coach their teams. I got three, one, two, three, stop! This past year, the coronavirus has changed even that. Right now, we can't even high five, you know, your teammates because... <laughs> You know, you, you you can't get close to anyone. Everybody's masked up, you know. That's why Yasmin's family is looking forward to Sunday. This year's football season became a touchstone for the family in an otherwise uncertain time. As, as a sport fan, sports fan, you, we needed something to watch every week without, you know, uh, disruption so that we can just, you know, say, hey, yeah, we're still, we still got something, you know. <laughs> To, to watch and cheer on. And the CDC says that can still happen this Sunday, but they advise only getting together with people you live with to watch the game or hosting a virtual watch party. If you do host a gathering, the CDC says it's best to have it outside and show the game on a large screen so people can sit at least six feet apart. Even as the cases and hospitalizations continue to drop in Indiana, Yasmin doesn't want to chance it. Hopefully by next Super Bowl, we can say, yeah, we're back at it and, and getting back together.